Hi everyone. Hi. We should be going live any minute. Something's going on. Let's see if it catches up. <laughs> Hi. Let's see if you're all there. Are you there? Are people there? Can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> are we live? Are we live? <laughs> are we not live? We are live. Let's try that again. We should be live. Something's loading in. <laughs> Technology, it's a marvellous thing. Hang on. Can you see it on your screen, Lates? I'll have a look and see if I can see it. Oh, hang on. Are we live? Oh, no. Still Yay, waiting. we're live. Are you alive? <laughs> we are live. Loading. Mine's not sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we are live. Hi, Sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay, some of you are there. Some of you are having problems connecting. Uh, morning, everyone. I'm going to make a phone call, I think, Lex, because I know one person can't quite connect. Um, you can say hello to everyone. You know all the people that are here. we got a new setup. So I'm on this side and Lex is on this <laughs> side, which is kind of cool. I'm on this side. So I can, like, poke Nick. <laughs> Oh, hang on, how do I do that? <laughs> I've got to do it that way. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna, cool. Uh, I'm going to hand over to you and okay. tell what we're doing next. Okay, so hi everybody. We're here to draw some Pokemon again today. Um, I'm Lexi, for those of you who don't know. And today we have joining us Filippo, Ellie, Lucas, Charlie, Corey, Daisy and Ruby and I do believe it's Daisy's birthday tomorrow so happy birthday Daisy Yay, happy birthday so happy <laughs> birthday to shall I stop or shall I carry on <laughs> you don't want to break the ears Nick I'm going to break the webcam in my singing more to the point <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool. It's nice to have you all joining us this morning for our Pokemon uh, live stream. Sorry about the technical difficulties at the beginning. Um, again, this is like only the second Pokemon one we've done, So, and we're using new software today so that me and Nick can see each other, even though he's not there. He's gone. Where's he gone? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we So, we are going to draw some Pokemon today. Um, and I'm not sure what Nick's going to draw this time. I can't remember what he drew last time either. Um, the lava anteater thing, and I drew Evie last time. Um, but today I'm going to draw Bulbasaur because everyone loves Bulbasaur, don't they? Yes. You can't hate Bulbasaur. <laughs> I'm chatting to one of the parents right now. They're live on YouTube. They just don't realise it. <laughs> They're laughing at me. <laughs> Right, shall I get some, shall I start drawing? Yeah, let's do that. Hang on a sec, oh, wrong computer. Let me just do this and I'm gonna, oh no, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna ignore that. Lexi, you need to share your screen, sorry. Yep, I'm doing this. Awesome. How are you finding that? Yep, that's awesome, Lex. Brilliant. Okay, so today, as I just said, we're gonna draw Bulbasaur. Okay, so make sure you've got your pens, your paper, and everything else ready. Um, yeah, so let's get going. So to start with, with Bulbasaur, we are going to draw in, funnily enough, a circle type sh shape. Actually, we're gonna draw more of an oval than a circle today. So sketchy lines, remember, don't press too hard with your pencil. Okay, I'm just going to wait for people to catch up a little bit. <coughs> don't be too fussy with your circles because we're probably going to rub most of it out, okay? So I'm just going to 
um, draw in his center line. Now Bulbasaur's head slightly tilted, so his eye line will be slightly angled. So two thirds of the way down the oval shape you've made, we're gonna bring a diagonal line across. Okay, and then we are going to do a center line like this. I'm going to rub out some of that while we're waiting. Okay, so next we are going to draw in his eyes. So his eyes are quite simplistic, which is nice for us to draw. We have got an arch which comes down. So over and across. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more narrower on this side. So it's more like his eye shape. And then the bottom of the eye is pretty much the eye line that we've done. Okay. So then I'm going to put on, put in his um, iris and pupil. So he's just got a nice curve. By there, and his pupil is here. I thought he'd nick then. I'm back. You're just imagine things. No, I'm back. Corey is now on. Corey has joined us. Hi, via, Corey. He's joined us via YouTube, uh, by his phone, I think. I'm having problems with the laptop, but they will be a little bit delayed. Well, that's looking good. <laughs> good. So now I'm going to move on to the second eye. So his eyes are quite far apart. So more um, like an actual animal, okay? So, because um, you'll find that um, animals have different widths, their eyes are different widths apart. So like um, an eagle or something, a predatory creature usually has eyes towards the front of their head and things which need defense have eyes to the side of their head. So they have more vision around them. Just a little fact. So even though uh, Bulbasaur is like an attacking Pokemon, it also needs defense against things like Charizard. So I hope you guys are able to f follow this along. I'm not going too fast. No, oh, I made this eye a little bit. I might have made my eyes a little bit small. So I'm going to rub out the top bit of this. So putting the um, pupils in, again. Okay, so I'm just gonna put his little eyebrows on. And next we're gonna draw in his mouth. So Bulbasaur has this little um, like peak of the middle of his mouth so that's kind of similar to some like tortoises they tend to have this little like peak which helps them grab hold of grass and stuff because i love tortoises and reptiles that's why i know silly facts okay so i'm just going to start in the middle with my little peak going down and i'm going to bring it across and up. So the mouth finishes roughly where the eye finishes. And then I'm going to do the opposite side. And again, I'm bringing the line up, dipping down slightly and coming up to the other side. 
Okay, so we're going to overlap this bottom line in a moment. I'm just going to rub some of that out so I can see what it looks like. Like just your faint line of where it was. Right, so Bulbasaur's mouth doesn't start right at the edge of our lip line. Starts just in slightly, so about by here. And it's deeper on this side than it is on the other. So I'm just going to bring this line across to where it's the deepest. And then this line across also. Maybe that's a little bit deep, a bit thick. <laughs> it looks like he's got like a giant pair of lips if I do that. <laughs> <I'm> very happy. <laughs> looks like jinx. <laughs> okay. So maybe I curved this part a little bit too much. Um, so we're going to draw in teeth, his little teeth, and then a line to show that his tongue is in there. So what I'm just going to do now is just rub out this middle part, so the eye line. about that and I'm just going to put in his nostrils so he's just got one little one bit there and another so they're just little dashes right so we are going to um, sort out his head shape for a moment so basically his head travels around his mouth so we just follow in the mouth shape cross Hope you're all drawing along with us. We can't We'd love to see your pictures at the end as well. Yeah, so we've so got... So if you're on... We've got one sorry, person, Nick, you carry on. Sorry, we've got one person on Instagram. Lucas is with us on... Lucas Draws is on Instagram. Hello. I've just seen that. They've said hello. Awesome. Who are you drawing? Bulbasaur? Yeah. I'm going to give you some facts. Ready? You're going to be amazed. This is, this is all from Nick's head, ready? Yeah, they can see me looking at a book. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bulbasaur is a type, he's a grass poison, did you know that? Yes. Oh, Bulbasaur likes to take a nap in the sunshine. That sounds like someone I know, Lexi. While that, so that sounds like my type of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> While it sleeps, the, the, the seed on his back catches the rays and uses the energy to grow. Cool. Like a plant. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Um, it is two foot high and it's 15.2 pounds. There we are. Its possible moves are tackle, growl, leech, leech, leech seed, vine whip, poison powder, sleep powder, takedown, razor leaf, sweet scent, growth, double edge, worry seed, Synthesis and seed bomb. There we are. Now nice. We mm. Do you know it's so, um, four other states, three other states? Go on then. Well, it's no, evolutions, you mean? Yeah, it's evolutions. If anyone knows the evolutions, you can Instagram it on Turnip Starfish. Just hashtag on Turnip Starfish Instagram. There's a little image of Ch it's Chalamander, isn't it? Chalamander. Yeah. Chalamander. Well done. I know. Wow, I even got that right without even reading it. Um, if you know what they are, <laughs> tell us what they are, and I'll tell you if you're right in a bit. No Googling. Mm -hmm. That's cheating. No Googling. <laughs> you keep drawing. Right. Okay. So for his ears, I'm going to put in little triangles. So they're curved triangles. Mm. And it comes a bit further down the head 
than this, so it can just pass where the upper eye is. And then I'm just going to rip out this part of his head. And then I'm going to do the opposite side. So these eyes, oh not eyes, sorry, ears, they're not straight triangles, they're curved triangles, okay? So remember that if you draw them really straight, it's going to end up looking a bit weird. So again, this line is almost straight, so just want to curve it out a bit more. So this ear is fine, so we're just going to rub out the middle part. We're leaving part of the head in front of it, so these parts in front of the ear, because it suggests that the ear sits behind the actual head itself. Okay? So the last thing we need to do for Bulbasaur's head is draw in some of his little scales. So this is a really effective way of showing that um, a creature has scales without drawing too much information into it. And a nice big one here. Okay. So that's Bulbasaur's head done. And we're going to move on to the body. <coughs> so we're going to start with his front leg by here. Um, and it starts slightly after the eye and then also the back of the leg is in line with the end of the head. So we're going to draw this curve around. So we're drawing like an oval shape. Oh, I did that a bit long. <laughs> I magically changed my eraser side <laughs> size then. Well, how are, you, how are you doing that, Alex? It's like someone told you that how to do that in our last workshop. I know it's it's crazy. I just I use it all the time now. <laughs> it's my favourite thing to do. Press those bracket keys. Square bracket keys. If anyone's drawing Yes, yeah, square, square bracket keys, sorry. Square bracket keys will make your brush or eraser bigger or smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to put on his claws. So I'm starting with the outside one that we can see first, because this is, we see all of this claw, and then the other's kind of uh, under. Uh, underlapping that claw. Okay, right, we're going to go to the back. So, about midway up the eye, we're going to have like a semicircle type of shape. Okay, so we're going round and down. And then it curves up the other way. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. All right, so then we've got a crease mark by here, which just shows you um, probably where the belly would sit. Move that a bit low. Okay, so we're gonna put the claws on this side. So again, the front claw goes on first.
second claw, which is underlapping the first, and then third claw, which is underlapping the, se the second claw. Zoom in a little bit for people as well, actually. Oh, oh. yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. I didn't realise that I could have zoomed nice, in. I was I've just got a nice in the monitor, so it's kind of cool. Actually, Corey's drawing on, be watching on his phone, I think, and I don't know what the others are doing. So it's a bit like, oh, be really small screen. <laughs> so we're bringing this curve. So from where his belly was, we're bringing this curve across. Um, so that it's kind of halfway through the white of his eye, so that's roughly where I'm going to make my mark. But it curves up higher than that. And then this arm starts about halfway through his eye. And by here, and I'm just going to make a mark and say that it comes out about here. So probably about just under the half of his head. That's how long the arm is. He's waving, he's going, hello. <laughs> us over slightly if we're getting in the way of the drawing it's better okay um, this time because Belpsaw's hand is out like this just gonna start we're gonna start with the middle claw because there's no overlapping this time Cool, so last, we're going to do the back leg now. So again, it's an oval type shape. So laps over. So this leg comes past where the halfway line is on your head. Not on your head, on the head that we've drawn for Bulbasaur. And this line curves in a bit more. And I'm going to start with the first claw. Second, which is slightly overlapped by the first. And again, same for the third. Oh, what a lovely Bulbasaur. I'm going to draw in his scales. So they're just rounded, ra random shapes, really. But it's nice the way that they've um, chose a variety of shapes, not just stuck to circles or triangles. Sometimes it's nice to have repetition in pattern. I think because of Bulbasaur's character, I think it's nice that he's got random scales. Okay, and then this one. And while you're drawing his, his little scales in, his, uh, what do you call them? His other states? What are they called again? Evolutions. His evolutions were Ivysaur. Yeah, well done. 
I'm trying to read these. <laughs> Venusaur. Venusaur. How did you know that? Venusaur. And then Mega Venusaur, who looks kind of cool. It's because I'm a Pokemon geek, Nick. <laughs> of course I know these things. Of course you know these things. <laughs> right, so we are missing one vital thing. Which is his bulb. Of course. I wondered what that was. Can't have Bulbasaur without a bulb. So I'm just going to zoom out because I might need the space. Um, so again, like we started with Bulbasaur's head, it's an overly type shape. So ooh. It's about half it the height starts... of the head as well, actually, out of interest. Sorry? It's about half the height of the head. Yes. It's about half the height of the head, the oval. So it starts just underneath the ear and it comes out. It starts on the other side of the head, overlapping the top of the body. Okay. So I'm just going to do that curve and then half of the head, roughly over there. So I'm going to bring this out and around. I'm going to do it on the opposite side as well. Just get on a nice curve in. So we can do that. And then before we start drawing the top, I'm going to do these lovely curves in and then they pop out at the top. Um, like so, and then we're just bringing the top up like this, like an, almost like an onion type shape. It is, isn't it? It should be called Onion Bulbasaur. Onion Mon. Onion Mon. Onion -mon. With, with the, the power of smell, he's smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Odor scares other Pokemons away. <laughs> okay. So there we go. I can zoom in. There we go. That's our Bulbasaur. It is. Well done, Lex. I like him. <laughs> which, which is his best possible move? His growl, his tackle, his leech speed, seed? Razor leaf. That sounds like his best move. Yeah, razor leaf. Or a seed bomb. What are you drawing now? A leaf. Oh, I see. I think that's what it... The razor leaf looks like, but there's like loads of them. Oh. Well, <coughs> if you've enjoyed that one, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to, you can hashtag Turnip Starfish and we will try and check it out on Instagram. There are some images from Monday's class I've just seen up there, which look cool. And I guess, uh, I guess I'm doing one, am I? Flex, is that right? Yeah, do you know what you're going to draw today? I do have a plan. You need to stop sharing your screen. And I need okay. to see what I can do. Hello, we're both back. So I'm going to do a drawing. I've got one cunningly in my book. I might not tell you. Well, you're probably going to know when you see it on the screen, but we'll see, we'll see where it goes. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go to my Photoshop. Here we are. And I'm actually going to open something a sec, which will kind of give it away. Oh! Who's that? <coughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Whoops, let me just do this. I have one of those on Pokemon Go. Do you? <laughs> do you know what it's called? Hmm? Do you know what it's called? Mincino. How did you know that so quick? 
because it's got the name at the top of the, the oh, picture. I, I, I was just wondering how you knew that so quick. <laughs> so I'm going to try and draw this one as uh, in, in the time I've got. How are we doing for time? Um, we've got a bit of time. So first of all, I wouldn't just do a straight circle because of the way this guy's little cheeks are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little. I'm going to do a curve like the top of my circle. I would I would instantly draw that shape. Let me think about how I might break that down somewhere. So if I if I draw a circle, something like this. You can see how badly that is. That's a really bad circle. What I'm going to now do is kind of, on either side, kind of do two little curves for cheeks. And by using that, I'm then going to build this kind of shape I want for the head. I hope that kind of made sense. Did that make sense, Lex? I'm not sure if that yeah, sense. it did. And then I'm going to rub that out. Lexi, do you know... Um, um, Mincini, anything about Mincino? Mincino. Mincino, sorry. Do I know any facts or? Yeah, do you know any facts? Um, he's a chinchilla type Pokemon. Um, I have, I'll have to find some out now. He's a chinchilla Pokemon. His type is normal. The very tidy Mincino uses his tail as a broom to rid its hab habitat of any wayward dust or dirt. They even groom one another with their tails. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it makes it even cuter. Uh, right, what am I going to draw next? I am going to... I want to put in the hairline, I think. Well, what I'm going to do really lightly is put in a centre line. This is going to come out later, so I'm going to keep that really light. And what I'm going to do then is this hairline, I'm going to pull over to one side. And I'm just going to kind of curve it up. Sounds like a weird place to start, but it might help me get the ears in the right place. I'm gonna, now going to kind of create this this kind of top bit of hair. If I wanted to be accurate about this, I could put a kind of circle in here and then use that to make this shape kind of curve around that circle and then come in. All right. I think it might need to be a bit taller and fatter. Oh, am I getting it wrong already? <laughs> No, it's not wrong. I'm just, it's constructive criticism. <laughs> no, it's okay. I didn't mind. I was winding you up. I'm going to do that. One, two, three. About a third. One, two, three. Yeah, maybe. So I'll come up a little bit taller. I can see what you're saying. No, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Should have left Lexi drawing these. <laughs> Something like that. We'll see where it takes us. It doesn't. It's not the end of the world if I don't get it exactly... Well, actually, I, I struggle more than you at getting these on character, I've got to say. I need to practice more, that's all that says. Something like that would do. Now, hopefully now this will give me some spacing for the year. So I'm going to go here, and I'm actually going to come really quite low down. So if I imagine my halfway point was here, I'm probably going to go halfway again in that lower zone and maybe use that to get where my bottom of my ear is. And I'm going to come here and somewhere here. Big, big ears. Now, I'm just trying to think about how high those ears are. Those those ears are not quite the height of the head, but they're not far off the distance from here to here. So almost from yeah. here to here. So they're quite high up. Yeah, they are really high up. Yeah. So I kind of use that line where I put the bottom of the ear in. Um... Now, this is going to feel like lots of lines, but if I pull a line up like that and like that, that's not where the point of my ear is, but it makes sure that I'm bringing the highest point of my ear across slightly. That might help me. Because now what I'm going to do is do a soft... I don't want a point here, so I'm going to do a rounded line, and I'm going to curve it a little bit like that. And I'll get it in about the right place. I'm not sure I'm going to get it exactly on to how they do it, but... And then I'm going to roll this guy around and we'll see if I can find that shape. And I want to pull it right down. Let's see if I can find this shape. 
Yeah. Get a little bit more rounded on that. Something like that feels about right. We'll see if that ends up right. And the same on here. So I'm going to curve in here. <coughs> and I'm going to come in towards my marker. And we'll see how that ends up. And I'm going to come round. And then roll in. To my other marker. Now I've drawn this one larger than this one. So I'm going to pull that back a bit. So when I look at them together, I had one noticeably larger. That one's mm -hmm. pointy now. That's why I want to, want to watch this point. I don't want to point. Why did I pick one with huge ears, Lex? I think <laughs> find that roundness there. Something like that. That would do for now. Okay, cool. Um, one. I'm trying to think. How am I going to? How am I going to describe this distance? I bet. I guess. I want to come down something like this, and I want to curve there. So I'm coming quite a long distance down, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I can almost use that as a marker and doing something like this. Okay. And then, with the rest of that, I'm going to go wider here, and then, so it's wider here, and then it kind of comes to a, a, a constant, same, it comes to a thinness that stays the same thinness all the way around. So what I'm trying to say is this bit stays the same, and mm -hmm. it's a little bit wider at the top. So a little bit wider at the top, and then a constant. Something like that. I can use my rubber in there. <coughs> right, I've got to do his little other fluffy bits in his ears. So I'm just going to overlap that line and then I'm going to draw these petal shape so kind of roll up curve up round that top and then come out there if you imagine in that middle bit it'll be like a circle so you've got to come around on that circle and come back that one that first one wants to be fairly big fairly wide better way of describing it and then I've got a second one that I'm going to struggle with my drawing to get onto the same line my ears might not be big enough so something like that. I haven't quite got the shape that they have. I'm going to pull this line out now. I'm going to come in there. Something like that. Don't quite have the shape there, but it's in the right direction. Hopefully. And do the same here. I'm going to overlap slightly. I'm going to come up tall. And I'm going to come down. And I'm going to draw the other one. And I'm going to have a similar problem with the other one. It's my ear line. It doesn't quite match up there like theirs. So I guess I'm going to come in a bit with my ear line. And I'm going to take this out and tweak those lines. Okay. The nose, I'm going to drop a little bit lower than the mark I had when I went across from the ear. So I'm just going to come a little bit lower with, close lower with that nose line. I'm just putting a little dash in. And I'm going to put the mouth in, and it's a little, it's the bottom of an arrowhead. And I'm going to come about halfway in this space. So it's going about here and here. The eye line, then I'm going to draw in. So my eye, my ears in the end. I think what happened was my ears were a bit 
long, weren't they? Or something. They needed to roll <coughs> there. I don't know what you think, Lex. Something yeah. Like that, I think. They were a little bit long, I think. I told you I draw more of my rubber than I do my pencil. The reason <laughs> being that my eye line actually wants to come underneath. Like if, if, if I put a line across here, my eye line actually wants to be down towards the nose. And if I do something like that, and what I'm trying to do is keep the spacing from here to the nose about the same. And then I want to get quite high. And again, I kind of see I'm working with both eyes at the same time to try and not try and to avoid the, the other eye syndrome. No. <laughs> so let's try and work on both. And then these are like rounded be like Easter eggs with a little bit of flat bottoms talking of Easter. It's Easter. It's the Easter holidays. Yeah, we're all on holiday. Oh, we're all permanently on holiday currently. <laughs> Something like this. And I'm going to put a big shine in. Big shine in. And I'm going to leave it like that at the moment because I would use some tone work on him. Something a bit like that. It's in the right direction. He looks mousy. He's cute. Cool. Um, I'm going to do the body. I'm going to use this mouth to kind of diagonally tell me about how wide I want the body. Although I feel like I want to be a bit wider on that side. It's just a marker. And then I'm drawing like, well, what I would describe like is a sack shape. And including the feet, it needs to be about the same height as the head. So I think my overall character should be about here. So it's about from the top of the head to the chin and then down. So his body wants to, I think, just be something a bit up from that. When I say sack shape, what I'm trying to do is come heavier at the bottom and I'm going to create a little curve so there's like weight. And that's actually his knees. It's kind of doing something like that. And then I get this curve in here. Just whoop, like that. <coughs> um, and we'll see where that comes us. And the little feet with these Pokemons are quite simple. They're, they're not quite circles, but they're, they're very circular. And you just, you can roll that back in and the same on the other side. Okay, got a bit of a thick line there, didn't I? I sent it for a moment and went whoop. And we're going to thin out here and thin out here and see where it takes us. Okay, when it comes to the feet down there, don't draw straight lines. Yeah? You're trying to curve it around the foot. So if you're putting in the little, I suppose the little claw marks or the toes. It's not claws, it's the toes, isn't it? Curve them around the object to keep it a nice rounded drawing. Yay! Cool. Um, Looking very cute. Yeah. Arms. I might, I suppose, if I was trying to break this down with someone, I might put a, a circle. I could try this. And then use that circle to pull back. But when I come up to the figure, I want it to come wider here. So it's slightly triangular, isn't it? Again, I want another circle. And then I'm going to curve this line down into this circle and make sure I come wider where it joins at the arm, at the body. A little bit short in that one. A little bit short in that one. Um. No, it could be, um, it kind of curves at the bottom, it doesn't curve, it curves the opposite way. It does, doesn't it, then? Sorry. Slightly. Yeah, actually, it's because it's actually, it feels a little bit three quarters, doesn't it, that one, for some reason? But yeah, in a nice way. It yeah, yeah, because it overlaps the body slightly in a weird yeah, they, way. They kind of both do, so it's kind of weird. And then uh, when I come to the arm, the fingers, again, just rounding. I'm probably rounding a little bit more than they did in that drawing, but just keeping the rounded lines on those to give to give it a nice bit of form. A bit of there and a bit there. Let's thin that one out and got a bit of a thin one. So that's in the right direction. We need to give his little beard and then his tail. So I'm gonna rub this out. Just like me, every decent Pokemon needs a beard. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna start just across, not directly below the mouth. I'm gonna go just very slightly over. And I'm gonna, I suppose one way you, you could put the center lines in if you wanted to be clever, I guess. 
but um, I would probably find it easier at this stage just to draw each little shape. This one's got to be longer, rolling back, and this one then does here, it's just shorter rolling back, and generally they're wider across the middle a little bit. So what I mean is sometimes you've got to imagine there's a ball in the middle. Yeah. Because it, that's generally, I think, how they, how they seem to be drawn. So think a bit like that. It's about right. Wait, tail. Oh, his tail is huge. <laughs> I'm going to use this distance in the head and try and use that distance again. So his tail's going to come right out here. So it's going to come out from this base. And it comes all the way to the top of his head. And what I'm going to do now is look at this negative space. Art teachers always talk about negative space, don't they? So I'm going to look at this negative space. And it kind of tracks about an equal curve all the way down there. So I'm just kind of seeing... seeing how I find that curve, something like that. All right, and I'm going to use my eraser, nice sharp rubber, you should be able to get into that and find if you like that curve. And again, this is going to be wider about here probably, so it, it should come out and then we'll thin again. So it needs to feel wider in there. That kind of makes sense. How many of time legs? Because I really wasn't paying as much attention. Is it? Um, is it ten two? Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Something about it like that. It could maybe have more mass on it, but I'm okay with that for today. Right. First big swipey thing. Don't know what you call it. Big, big, a bit of fluff like that. And then rolling back into that shape. I'm going to use my razor to just sharpen that form a little bit. And then I'm going to use another one here. Because then I can easily probably get the last one. Something like that. Right. Suddenly, I want to tweak this shape a bit. I'm like, oh, I want to tweak that. Something a bit like that. And there we are. It's about in the right direction, I think. I hope. Mancino. Yeah, he needs his eyes darkening to give him a bit more character, really. Yeah, I think so. Uh, which I'm just going to do really quickly like this. There he is. That wasn't too bad. About in the right direction. I'm pleased with that. He's cool. His height is about one foot. His possible moves are... Pound, growl, helping hand, tickle. Oh, I like that one. Uh, double slap, uh, en encore, swift, sing, tail slap, charm, wake up slap. <laughs> Echo, echoed voice. Slam, captivate, hyper voice. What's that? <laughs> Last resort and after you. And he has one additional state. Which, Lexi, do you know what it is? Evolution. It's Chinchino. Yeah, it is. It is a Chinchino. There we are. <laughs> enjoyed that. I'm just going to go back so you can see me and Lexi. Hello, everyone, again. Look, I drew one as well. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, we can see that. That's kind of cool. And yours is nicer than mine. Not this competition, actually, as long as you just enjoy drawing it. That's cool. I like draw I like drawing along with you. <laughs> Yay. I'm just seeing if anyone... You've probably been busy drawing. Um, so I don't suppose there's an image up there, but I'm just going to have a look. Oh, there is. There's a Bulbasaur. That looks awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, cool. That's, um, 
That's from, I guess, Ellie and Alex from the show. It's, that's looking cool. That's really, really good. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <coughs> just liked that. I'm going to comment. Where's that to? On Instagram. Oh, hashtag. Turn it, starfish. Awesome. Just get a recent. Thank you very much for that. I've just awesomed you. You are now awesome. Well, you already know that, <laughs> but now, yeah. Cool. Um, I guess we might do a little quiz, but I don't know how many people are on on Instagram. Maybe only a couple. <coughs> of you. So if people half want to do this at home and half kind of, we'll see if people answer on Instagram and we'll see where it takes us. Mm -hmm. so that's on a clan next. Yep. Cool. Hang on then. Share my screen and. Oh. Here we are. Who's this Pokemon? Is this Pokemon? Mm, that is. I have no idea because I don't know these well enough. Hairy Telosaurus. <laughs> it's close. You're not too far off. This is Nine Tails. Oh, Nine Tails. That's like a really popular one, isn't it? I should have known that one. I'm so sure Nine there. Tails is based on um, a Japanese yokai called Kitsumi, and it's said for every hundred years that they live, they gain another tail. Oh, cool. So that would make they only go up to nine tails, though they can't have any more than nine, <laughs> but they can live longer. Just an interesting fact for you. Oh, that's, that's useful. He has nine uh, tails. Next one. Oh, I don't know. I'm just seeing if anyone's on Instagram. Oh, <coughs> nine tails. It uh, Phil out Phil ML sixteen was the first there. I don't know who that is. Uh, we're gonna figure that out at some stage. Um, is that? It might be Filippo, I guess. I don't know. Is it Lucas? Yeah, it might be. Lucas? I know Lucas is probably one. It's Lucas. Might be Philippa, that makes sense, because I think some of the others are new. So well done okay. the first. Phil M Phil M L sixty nine tails. Do you want to know what this one is? Yeah, I've got no idea. Octagon monster. Oh and I have <laughs> on Onyx. Yes, yeah, well done. Well, I'm looking at again Phil M L sixteen Onyx straight there. They are on this one, they're no messing about there. Onyx, well done. They shattered it twice. I again. called my Rock Snake on Pokemon Go. <laughs> rock Snake, good name. This is Who's this one? Bulbasaur upside down. <laughs> I quite like this one. I haven't seen the anime with it in, but um, he yeah, frog, he's got a bit head. of attitude. Froghead or something? Frog, froggy? Froggymon? No. He's, he's more of a panda. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Go on then, you tell us and we'll see. It's Pan-Chan. Pan -chan. It's kind of cool. You've a lot of attitude there. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Is that a green tongue or is he eating a leaf? He's eating a leaf. <laughs> Phil, uh, uh, ML16 is just there with Pan-Chan. Yep, they were right on you. Pan-Chum. Is it Pan-Chum or Pan-Chan? Pan-Chan, I think. Pan -chan. This is Ducky Splat Amon. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> this is. Oh, you can click then. Quagsire. What's their name? Quagsire. Quagsire. Yeah, it begins with a Q. All oh, right. He is really cute. I, th I think I might draw him. <laughs> Next time. He he looks like he's good. He could be very slimy. Uh, he looks like he wants a big cuddle. He's got those big soft arms. It's a bit like what's the Disney, <laughs> film? What's the Disney film with the big guy that with the big big arms. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the computer animated one. The what? The big white blow up guy. Oh, Baymax. Yeah, it's a bit like Baymax, but a different colour. But not like Baymax <laughs> at the same time. Baymax looks a bit like Baymax. Okay, go to the next one. Okay. Evil Pikachu. 
It's like Pikachu <laughs> with evil ears. It's not an evil Pikachu, but it is the evolution of e Pikachu. Chewy Peak. <laughs> that was too many clues, that was. Let's see if anyone gets it. No, Phil, Phil ML 16 is quiet for the moment. Lucas Draws isn't there at the moment. They're too busy watching. Is it <laughs> right to you? Well done. Oh, Phil, Phil ML 16 is on it. Oh, he's kind right of you. Good work. Is that like Halloween is? This one is my cat when it's asleep. <laughs> but it's a bear, is it? It's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> What, the others, the others aren't weird. <laughs> oh, Lucas Draws was there as well with Raichu. Hello, Lucas. He was on that one. This one is... He's based on a sloth. <laughs> Slothy mom, then, is it? Go on, then. His name is Slowpoke. Slowpoke. <laughs> His evolutions are Slow Bro and Slow King. <laughs> he looks like he should be in The Simpsons, that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. Oh. Bowl something. No, this is one yellow. Sorry? Is this one yellow, bright yellow or something? No, his head is yellow. But his shell is white with patterns. <laughs> I used to be able to do a really good impression of him, but I can't now. <laughs> do it as a clue. It's Togepi. Togepi? Oh, oh Togepi, yeah. Phil ML16 was there first. Togepi it is. Oh, hang on. I can't remember this one. <laughs> you might have to look it up in the Pokemon book, Nick. Ghosty Two Tails. Do you know how big this Pokemon book is? Go to the U section. <laughs> <laughs> you got, so now people in the quiz really need to help us because not even us, not even we know where it is. Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. Oh, there it is. I found it. It's a legendary Pokemon. Did you know? Yes, that? it is. Um, it is. How do you say it? Uxii. Uxii? Something like that, yeah. Oh no, hang on. How you say it? Yuki. Yuki C. Hang on, let me have a look. Yuki, yeah. Yuki. Yuxi. <laughs> According to Lenny, Yuxi brought the gift of intelligence to humankind. Not to me, obviously. I can't read this book. Uh, it is known as the being of knowledge. It does look very cool, doesn't it? Do you want to show us the actual image, actually? Yeah. Oh. No one's got it on Instagram at the moment. I quite like that one. It looks like he's asleep. I suppose it's like meditating, isn't it? It's thinking about stuff. Yeah, true. Possible moves. Rest, confusion, imprison, endure, swift yawn. A swift yawn. Oh, no, a swift, then yawn. Sorry. <laughs> it was a swift yawn. Oh, quick yawn. Uh, future sight. Amnesia. All right, and go to the next one. Everyone knows this one. Well, it's not Pikachu. That's the one everyone knows. <laughs> That's true. Go on then, who is it? While well, people catch up. It is Vulpix. So this is the prevolution of nine tails. Ah, oh, I see. The prevolution before. Mm hmm So Vulpix evolves into nine tails. Cool. Next one. Um. Volpix, Phil ML16 was there. Awesome. 
Um, this one looks like he's got like an, a TV aerial through his ears. That's what. <laughs> cool. It's like wearing a satellite dish. Oh, Lucas draws the center some images of what he's done. Oh, cool. Let me have a little look. So they're in Instagram messages. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I've got another one here from. I've got another one here from Ellie and the Sherwoods and stuff. That's a nice. Oh. That's a nice and Corey's Corey sent one with his um, turtle. Oh, his, his well. real turtle. Sorry, <laughs> I was totally. The picture of Bulbasaur with with a turtle next to it. Cool. <laughs> so this Pokemon is called Whooper. Whooper. Whoop whoop. What's the next one? Oh, almost finished, guys. That looks like Miyazaki's dear god from. It does look like it, doesn't it? Mononoke. <laughs> yeah, the spirit for forest spirit, doesn't it? Forest spirit, yeah. yeah. This is Xerneas. So he's a fairy type Pokemon. I like the colours. It's kind of groovy. Hmm. This one. Flappy bug. What? Flappy bug. <laughs> I thought you said back ago then. And I was like, no, it's not my hero academia, Nick. <laughs> this is Yan Mam. Oh, Yan Ma, sorry. Yangma. What does Yangma uh, mean? Last one. Nick, do you know this Pokemon? Squawk, squawk a lot. <laughs> it is a bird type Pokemon. It's also le also a legendary Pokemon. This is Zapdos. Oh, Zapido is cool. <laughs> I can see Lucas so, drawing there. that's the end of our quiz. Well, thank you very much, Lex. Let's see if anyone got Zapido. It's just on the screen now. I can see it as it it's kind of weird because it lags behind us. Not oh, us. yeah. Someone's just sent us something on Instagram. Lucas Draws sent us a picture of Pokemon. That's nice. That was the one I drew. That's really cool. Awesome. Love that. Okay, I'm going to take it back to both of us now. Hello. Hello, everyone. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Lex. <laughs> thank um, you very much as well. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, I think you're all still there watching, so that's really good. I will double check maybe with some of you. Um, I got a feeling at least one person didn't quite connect through, so I'm going to double check maybe. But they won't know that because they won't be watching. They're the one that didn't connect. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you all kind of connected. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the class. We hopefully like this new setup. I think this new setup is good with both of us. It's like hello, you can see me because you know. Though actually, I do look a bit dishevelled. Probably you don't want to really look at me. I need to get some. <laughs> I need to get that lipstick on again, don't I? And things. <laughs> our video broadcast. Apart from that, um, we'll see you on Monday for our next free manga uh, mm -hmm. broadcast, which is obviously easier to tune into. And then on Wednesday next week, a couple of you already booked on. We'll see you again for our next uh, Pokemon one. Pokemon, yeah, which is cool. And uh, I think that's about it, isn't it, legs? I think so. So just to say thank you to Filippo, Ellie, Lucas, Charlie, Corey, Daisy and Ruby for joining us today. Thank you very much. And a big happy birthday to Daisy, wasn't it? Yay! Mm -hmm. cool. Happy birthday! And um, I was going to say something else as well suddenly there and it just totally popped out of my mind. It can't have been that interesting. What was I going to say? <laughs> No I have no idea. It wouldn't have been interesting. 
Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, so that's a good end to our broadcast with me scratching my head. Going. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Take care, guys. Um, remember to, to put your drawings on the hashtag Turnip Starfish, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. And I will end our little uh, our little party for today. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, wrong button. That was good. That was very pro. Of me. <laughs>